Sundance is ready for her breakfast <laughs> yeah. here uh, just outside of uh, Navin. Uh, joining me now, the executive director of ICSS, uh, Janie Champagne. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our farm. Thank you. We don't have the best day for it, do nah, we? No, but you know, the, the work has to go on. Uh, rain, rain or shine. Or shine. Rain happens. or shine. Uh, yeah. So for those who have never visited the uh, hobby farm before, on a sunny day, what would they be uh, in for? Well, we have um, about 3,000 plants in the uh, fields that are, are planted. We have 52 acres here and uh, Jeff does wagon, ri wagon rides as well as uh, we have woodworking. Mm -hmm. We have um, all the, the jams and everything that we do. The, the participants come out here and they do a, a lot of work during the day out here doing all kinds of activities, feeding okay. the animals. So you mentioned that the participants get to, to uh, be involved in all of that. Who are the participants? The participants are adults with uh, physical and mental disabilities. Mm -hmm. And we run, uh, our agency is funded through the Ministry of Community and Social Services for day-to-day -day needs of, of adults with uh, disabilities. Okay. And we fundraise for everything else. So we have 11 homes where individuals live and, and we support them in day-to-day -day skills. We uh, teach them all kinds of, um, <laughs> oh, he doesn't want that social skills and life skills and everything. Okay. We've got some more animals behind us yeah. to feed. Uh, have, what can I do? Can I help? Certainly. Can I have a couple of carrots, please? Let me get my hands dirty here. Right. Now, what, is this a pot belly pig here? This is a pot belly pig. We have Peyton. And this Excuse is Chris. Me. Chris usually morning, has the Chris. morning job of uh, feeding the animals. Peyton. You may have to bend down there and Good morning, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. So uh, what exactly is ICSS? Innovative Community Support Services. We were founded uh, 10 years ago, in 2001. We had our big 10th anniversary last year. And we are what's called a transfer payment agency. Um, we, we look after, as I said, individuals with disabilities. And they're, um, they live with us. We're funded through the ministry, and we do all kinds of skills that we're trying to um, get them to learn to have more independent lives. Okay. We, sorry. No, no, no. Please go ahead. We have a, a group that's called Exceed All Expectations, mm -hmm. and they're a volunteer group that come up. They're uh, youths at risk, and they also come out and do a lot of work at the farm. Okay. And why did uh, creating something like the Sew and Grow Hobby Farm make sense for ICSS? Um, I think it. Uh, made sense because uh, everybody knows that that working with animals working out in the uh, the the fields and everything it's really rewarding and um, animals are great therapy you know we have uh, big horses little horses goats rabbits pigs uh, where we've got uh, chickens roosters ducks we have everything right. so there's a lot of work for um, the, the individuals that come out, okay. you know, and it's work programs for them. And okay. So despite the rain, we will be spending the entire morning here we at will So Andro Hobby Farm. Now, speaking of goats, this goat here, Bob, is a bit of a famous guy. He's got a very interesting story behind him, and uh, a little bit later in the show, we'll introduce you officially to Bob the Goat and fill you in on the story that's all coming up later on CTV Morning Live.